I think this is where the mummy is. The door's locked. Okay, Donia, I see one of the statues holding the dagger on the other side of the room. There must be a way to get across it, but it doesn't look so safe for me to climb down and look for it, though. And even if I did, I don't think I will be able to climb up again. Hmm, let me see. Then in this case, you can use the RC car I bought a while ago. The remote control has a small screen that will help you control it better. Alright, I'll give it a try. Uh, where is it again? I put it in your backpack. I knew it may come in handy at some point. Cool. What else did you put in there? Well, you would know if you actually cared to check your pack for once. Duh. Those pharaohs couldn't just put the daggers at the entrance now, could they? Nice!
Well, well. Would you look at that? I'm losing the signal. I just saw a group of armed men enter the tomb. They're... They're what? Donia? Okay, I should probably finish quickly. It's going to be attributed to us. Really? Technically, I did all the work. This better be worth it. Someone's coming. Donia, are you alright? I won't forgive myself if something happened to her. Now we're talking. I need cover. Take cover! I'm empty! Cover me while I reload! Now we're talking. 
There you go. Cover me! Now we're talking. I'm empty. Cover me while I reload. There you go. Go to bed! I guess so. He's over there. There you go. Now we're talking. There you go. Now we're talking. There you now go. we're talking. There you go. talking there you go now we're talking There. Steady. Oh. Ooh. Almost there. Steady. Oh. Ooh. Almost there.
There you go. Now we're talking. Area quiet, still no sign of the target. There you go. He's here somewhere. No sign of movement, stay sharp. Watch your back, he must be real close. Finally made it. Where's Donia? Did she hide inside the car, maybe? Oh. Oh. So, you have an accomplice on the outside. That explains a lot of things. <laughs> Who are you? That is none of your concern. You definitely saved us the trouble of solving all those puzzles. So, I might let you live after all. Now, hand me the box. Here you go. Catch!
You should have accepted my offer while you had the chance. Drop it! Careful with this thing, little one. You might get yourself hurt. Wow. There you go. Any more worries, big guy? See, I'm with her. I mean, she's with me. Come on, Dania. Let's get out of here. How do you control this thing? Watch out! Yes. We got there, but some guy beat us to it. Don't worry, we will follow them right away. What do you mean, forget about it? My men will get them by the hour. All right, all right, but this better be good. Call out the rest of the men. Tell them we will move to Morocco right away. I will hunt them in every corner of the world. I will flip every rock in every desert. And when I find them, they will beg me for death. You haven't seen the last of me, you two. I swear, next time, you won't be so lucky. You did good back there. I'm proud of you. I did good? Did you even see the fear in that guy's eyes? I bet they were even too afraid to follow us and... We have good mobile coverage here? Wow. Hello, this is Faris Chawad speaking. Hello, Faris. My name is Rashid al Kalabi. I'm calling you from Morocco, and I believe I have an interesting proposition for you, my friend. A very interesting proposition. Welcome to Morocco, my friends. I'm glad you could make it. We're glad we're here. I know I can't resist Moroccan tea. <laughs> well then, you've definitely come to the right place. We will stop by my friend Akram's cafe on the way to my apartment. He serves the best tea in town. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Rashid. 
I couldn't stop thinking about what you mentioned on the phone. I mean, can it really be true? I was as surprised as you are. Even doubtful, I may add. That is, until I found the irrefutable evidence. Uh, come on, let's discuss this on the way. Please, follow me. I'm not going to wait for you all day. Move on already. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kinda reminds me of a cat I had in my childhood. The weather looks really great this time of year. It gets even better usually later this month. Combine that with the scenery, and well, you understand why we call Tangier the Bride of the North. Ibn Battuta, as you may know, was a famous Arab explorer that went on a 30-year-long adventure throughout the Middle Ages. During those 30 years of travel, he came across marvelous wonders and went from being a slave to a king and then to a prisoner. When he returned home here in Tangier, the Sultan asked him to write an account of his journey. Now, because Ibn Battuta wasn't a writer, the task was given to one of the Sultan's writers. My great-great-grandfather, Ibn Juzay al-Kalabi. 
The book is called The Journey, or Al Rila. I heard that it took two years to write it. True. The book nice. eventually got translated into many languages, and it's available in bookstores today. The initial goal of Ibn Battuta's trip was to perform pilgrimage to Mecca, and indeed, he managed to do it three times during his travels. I think I read once that the Sinbad stories were based on Ibn Battuta. I wouldn't be surprised. He covered three times the distance that Marco Polo did. Who knows what he might have seen in his lifetime. Ah, my uncle used to own a store in this market. It was actually doing really good back in the days. What happened to it? Sadly, uh, he had a dispute with his partner and they closed it down. <laughs> Along with the rest of these shops, it seems. Getting stronger. Paris, are you even paying attention? Oh, here it is. Akram's Cafe. Have a seat, please. I will have uh, green tea, please. It acts as a cleanser, especially useful for someone at my age. I heard it helps reduce weight, too. You might want to try it out, Dania. Ha ha ha. And I will have the traditional Moroccan tea, with three spoons of white sugar. On second thought, make them brown. Just one cappuccino for me, please. What? I may occasionally have a change of heart. Sometimes. Never mind him, sir. So you were saying? Now listen to me carefully, both of you. I came across a rare set of documents while looking through my family's heirlooms. They are the diaries of Ibn Juze himself. What got omitted from the book were details that will lead to something dark, cursed, and valuable. Go on. Some are willing to die for it. Others will happily kill. Well then? Count us in. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you, young man. Let's head for my apartment now, then, shall we? I'm not going to wait for you all day. Move on already.
Quite honestly, the reason I contacted you and no one else is that your reputation precedes you. You two work as a team and have the qualities required for this line of work. The combination of knowledge, passion, and persistence. I have grown too old for this kind of thing. I'm sure we can come to an agreement to share whatever fortunes lie down this path. I can assure you, sir, money is the least of our motivations in doing this. I don't know about you, Dania, but I sure have a lot of things I want to buy. You're welcome to give me your share, though. Well, here's my apartment. The diaries are safely hidden in my cell. Why is the door open? I'm sure I locked it before I... There! I see someone near the balcony. Hey, you! Hold it right there! Steady. Almost there. Where did he go? Oh! 
<laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> Go to hell. You... you won't get a word from me. I said talk, or I will... Boris, are you alright? The attacker was killed by a sniper before I could find out anything. The diaries are not with him, he probably handed them over to someone else. The police are surrounding the building. Oh, this doesn't look good. Find your way out of there fast, but don't engage any of them. <laughs> sure. How about I just put on my invisibility cloak? That should make things easier. down. Don't look down. Just a little more. Oh. Now what? Okay, I just saw you. Go to the park and head right. We'll be in Rashid's car. It's red. Hurry! Oh. No, 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 no! Oh, oh my legs.